Bass Casters, Secret Bass Box XL. <clears throat> this thing raised a few eyebrows. Took a few folks off guard. If you want to know what I'm talking about, stick around because I'm going to open this box up and show you what's in it in just one second. Get familiar, get familiar. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Howdy, and welcome to the cave. Thank you for coming by today. And as promised, we're going to be taking a look at the Bass Casters Secret Bass Box XL. Now, this is not a subscription box. This is uh, every time you order it, they will uh, randomly select baits and throw them in the box. And just about every box you order is different. Now, there is a bit of a risk that some baits could be duplicated, and that has happened, but I will tell you that I've gotten three boxes now, and I don't think I've had two items that were duplicates. So I've been fairly impressed with it, and, you know, it's kind of like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I'm going to put a link up above to my most recent showdown video where we pitted Monster Bass against Mystery Tackle Box Elite against Bass Baits Monthly, and then a latecomer to that party was the Bass Casters. It, sh it happened to show up in the mail that day, and I thought, you know, it's the same price, $35. Let's throw it into the mix. Well, what a fateful decision that was. I had no idea that it was going to create the outcome that it did. Uh, I hadn't actually done the full box opening on this yet. I had, I had gone through and did a quick uh, evaluation of the value in the box, but I hadn't really done that video, so that's what we're going to do today. Before we do, however, I want to draw your attention to the link above to the three-minute grab bag giveaway. Quite literally, about 15 minutes ago, today's grab bag video uh, premiered, and our big winner this week was River Rat Fishing. Congratulations to you. River Rat is going to be getting this Tokon 90 uh, Demiki. Uh, jerkbait, Feathertail Jerkbait. That's going to be going out in the mail on Monday to him, and congratulations, but you could be the next big winner. Go over to that video, get down below, make sure you subscribe, comment, and then come back next Saturday because we're going to be giving away this bait. This happens to be the live target, Sunfish. That is this week's featured bait, and next Saturday we're going to be giving that away. So if you would like to own it, Get over to that video and get entered. And this is just my way of saying thank you to all of you. I appreciate all of your support. With that, let's get into this box. All right, I'm going to give you the first look. Now, this box is very full, and as I mentioned, I've been through it a few times <laughs> as I was going through the pricing. And every time I try to repack the box and I get so frustrated because there's too many items to fit in the box unless you do it just a certain way. Enough chitter-chatter, though. Let's get at it. First item up, and I referenced there were one or two duplicates from a prior box. This happens to be one of them. This is the Spro BBZ1 Rat 25. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and give you a look at it. Uh, you may have uh, caught the last, I think it was the last grab bag video, where I said I'm going to be adding this to the bag. And indeed... Indeed, it goes into the bag, so I pulled it out momentarily to do this video, but I'm going to be putting it back in the grab bag. You could win this. So let me tell you a little bit about it. Um, this is not a topwater bait. Now, I thought that, but as it turns out, it's not. It's what they call, and pardon me while I look at my notes, it's what the designers call a subsurface broken back square bill. Now that sounds like a very specific product line, but really what happens is that when you throw it out uh, and start to retrieve it, it'll dive down to about two or two and a half feet. Now, if you pause your retrieve, it will slowly rise to the surface. The designer of the bait, I saw a video where he talked about if you switch out the back hook for a number six short, short shank hook, switch out the back one, when you pause, that will cause it to suspend. 
if you switch out both hooks with a number six short shank, then it will actually sink. So that was rather interesting. But basically, uh, this solid solid uh, foam core uh, it is, I would call this a multi-species bait. This was in a bass box, but I'm telling you, when I look at this, I see northern pike all day long. I imagine there are various other species that would be attracted to this bait. So, And I will tell you that a lot of you have commented about this. When I opened it the first time, a lot of you commented that this thing's a killer bait. I've not actually had a chance to use it yet, but uh, from all the comments, I have to say I look forward to doing so. So as I mentioned, I already had one. This duplicate's going in the grab bag. One of you guys could win it. And the value that I found it online is $21.49. So that's pretty significant. All right. Next item, another big one. <clears throat> the Booyah Streak 4. This is a deep diving crankbait. And this mama is huge. <laughs> this is a big honking bait. Let's go ahead and get her open. Let's see what I can tell you about it. Um deep diver 25 feet the color on this is uh, uh, BYA streak blue moon all right so that's the color let's get her out of here I tell you a few things about it that I learned from my research first off look at the size of scale of that that is a big big bait and that is meant to get down deep very quickly so um, this is a two ounce crankbait. This will cast a long way. What they recommend, I actually looked at uh, tackle, tactical bassing on this one, and I think it was Matt Allen that was talking about the best way to fish this, throw it out there, retrieve it real fast for about 20 cranks. That gets it down to the bottom. Then it starts to tunk along the bottom, and then you just keep kind of working it with an erratic retrieve. And according to him, that's a very effective way to do this. Um, Booyah says this is a, uh, what they call a one-piece lip and rattle chamber. The uh, rattle chamber and the lip are fused in some fashion. And I'm not exactly sure what it means, but they claim that it results in a very distinct kind of, kind of knock or rattle, but it also transmits through the bill. So the bill becomes almost like a little radio transmitter of vibration. So... That's what they claim is the uh, benefit. Um, oh, also, it has a wire-through design. Now, that actually surprised me, but uh, I'm not sure why it surprised me. I, I come to understand that's not uncommon. But basically, these hooks are anchored with wires that are inside it. And uh, if you've ever seen a wire-through design bait, you know what that is. So... Um, Interesting that they would do that, and they claim that makes the hooks much stronger. They're not going to pull off or uh, uh, loosen up, and it's supposed to add to the durability of the bait overall. This uh, Booyah Streak 4 is going for $14.99, and this one I like very much, so cool. All right. Next item, War Eagle Super Spoon. So let me fish through here. Now, you guys who are spoon fishermen, you will appreciate these. Let me get one out. It's a two-pack. All right, so let's see if you, hopefully you can get a good look at that color. Seven-eighths ounce. The color is blue herring. Uh, basically, the best way to fish these is just right over the right off the edge of the boat or dock or wherever you may be, preferably and optimally in deeper water, but you just drop it and you let it flutter down and they will often hit it on the uh, fall. Uh, it's meant to trigger schooling fish. Uh, the way it was explained is that um, when you let that flutter down and once it hits the bottom, just jerk it up and then let it flutter down with a, just a small amount of slack in your line. And that fluttering, those, that will trigger schooling bass. I've always just basically thrown them out, kind of tunked them back to the boat, maybe drop them over, jig them. 
uh, always with the idea that it's the fluttering and the fall that triggers them. All right. So that is the War Eagle Super Spoon. And this is $7.29 for the two-pack. All right. Ooh, that hurt. All right. Next item. Flip through my uh, notes here. We have another War Eagle item. This is the Jig Head Worm. Now, this, this is a uh, Jig Head Worm. Let me get one out. This is a uh, quarter ounce. Green pumpkin is the color, and uh, we like green pumpkin. Uh, not much to be said about it. It is uh, what we call a shaky head jig. It does, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it is flat here, so it promotes standing up straight as such. Uh, I did learn about something called worm jigging. Now, that may be something that I've been doing all along, just didn't know what to call it, but it seems to be very specific from what my research showed, and this is an effective jig for that type of um, fishing, where basically you're using a Senko or maybe a ribbon tail worm or, you know, something like that, something a little longer, and then rig it up and just jig it along the bottom. Now, it's a... To me, that's kind of a variant of Ned fishing, or maybe Ned fishing is a variant of worm jigging. I don't know which one came first, but I never even knew the term. I've kind of fished that way many times, but I just didn't know that's what it was called. But this jig is very conducive to that, all right? Powder coated, it's got the keeper there. Great little jig, full pack of five. That is the War Eagle Jig Head Worm. Four dollars ninety-nine cents. All right. Next item. This one's kind of cool. The Hedden Swimming Image. Swimming Image. This is a shallow. Oh, by the way, the color on this is emerald shiner. This is a. Uh, hold on a second. This is highly weed, highly weedless. They claim. I'm just so discombobulated at the moment. There we go. All right. First off, let's take a look at it. This uh, very interesting bait. You see the knocker, the, the free moving knocker there, and then there's a couple here. Let's see if we can hear the... Well, just a little bit of a knock there. Uh, but the what I saw is that this is highly weedless, which... Uh, by looking at it, I wouldn't have assumed that, but that's what their claim is. It's effective, especially in shallow water, shallow rivers. Uh, it has a very wide wobble, which is interesting. Uh, and so you work it back to the boat slowly or back to the shore, work it slowly, try to walk it a little bit, maybe pop it every now and then. Uh, also, I should point out that it's tail weighted, and obviously you can see that knocker in there, and I'm sure that's part of it. So I think it's uh, general, um, you know, it generally sits like this, it's posture, all right? Very interesting bait. I like heading. I have many of them. I have many from 40-year-old baits, so I very much like this brand. This is going for $7.29. By the way, drop me down a comment below. Do you have some old headings? Uh, they're very cool. One of these days I'm going to do a video about them. All right. Next item is the, uh, bomber. Ooh, that's not it. The bomber jointed wake minnow. This is, uh, what color is this? This is, uh, chartreuse herring. And this is a wake bait. And let me see what I can tell you about it. First off, it's subsurface wake bait. Uh, optimal zone is between zero and a foot and a half. I watched a video with Mike Iaconelli, and he was talking about the best way to fish these is in the water column just above submerged cover, such as grass or laydowns, anywhere where the bass might be, you know, hiding down below. But there's some clear area above it in the water column. Fish this through there. He said it's dynamite. You know. It's a wake bait, and I don't know that I can add a lot to how you would use the wake bait, but basically just throw it out there. It covers a lot of area. Fish it back slowly. Let it just keep tip high. Keep the tip high so that promotes the bait 
plowing through the water and creating that wake. And that's where it'll trigger the fish as well. So uh, that is the bomber, jointed wake minnow. And this is going for $8.29. $8.29. All right. Next is, I told you there's a lot of items in this box. The Booyah Finance Jig. Now, why do they call this the Finance Jig, you may be asking? Because it's money in the boat. This is a half ounce, two pack. Color on this is uh, natural. Natural. I'm not sure what that means, actually. Oh, my. I'm going to have to edit out this part. All right, here we go. Let me get one of these out. Um... A lot of fanfare about these, by the way. Uh, I have some others. I haven't used them. But a lot of uh, very high praise given to these. So, it's a round head, so it's going to skip a little easier. I'm not good at skipping, but uh, they actually promote that in their marketing material, that that round head is conducive to, to uh, better skipping. It's hand-tied. Here's an interesting fact that... Uh, I'm not even sure why it matters, but they um, purport that there are 55 strands in this skirt. So there you go. You got that going for you. 55 strands in that skirt. Um, powder coated. Uh, this is really effective according to the makers in clear water as a finesse jig and uh, I don't know. So I, I tell you what, I'd fish it in a number of conditions, but clearly uh, finesse is uh, perhaps its sweet spot. So this is the uh, Booyah Finance Jig Money in the Boat. $5.99. All right. Now here is tried and true, the Booyah One Knocker. These things are, you talk about money in the boat. There you go. This one is a, uh, let's see, it's the Yellow Perch. I do not have this color, funny enough, but what a great color. Uh, one knocker, everybody knows them, everybody loves them. It's got a single tungsten rattle. I love these. And if I had to choose a lipless crank, only one that I could keep, I would be hard pressed between a six cents and one of these, but, uh, or maybe a rattle trap. Love them though. Uh, oh, 3D eyes, split rings. Uh, the value on the six dollars ninety nine cents. All right, one of the most versatile, versatile and venerable baits in this box. All right, next item: War Eagle Screaming Eagle. This is a uh, buzz bait, and again. Everybody knows buzz baits. Everybody knows how to fish them. Not much I can add. What makes the difference from what I can gather is the, uh, in large measure, is the, is the wire. And that'll, uh, depending on how that is constructed, that'll transmit more vibration. Also the blades. In this case, these are willows. And you can vary those blades to get different effects from a buzz bait. You can run these with or without a trailer. Now there is an item in this, and I'll circle back to this when I get to it, that I think would make a good trailer on here. It'd be interesting anyway. Uh, half ounce, but what they uh, really promote is that it's it's a half ounce buzz bait in a quarter ounce size. So it's a little more compact, but it still has that weight, half ounce, so you can get the, the distance. Uh, it's really, really shines in dirty water. Uh, it's built on Mustad uh, needle point hooks. And something that I wasn't aware is a thing, but uh, they felt the need to promote it. It's got Sampo, S-A-M-P-O, Sampo Swivels. So I take it that that's a premium brand. Never heard of it, but uh, that's good to know. All right. Hand tied, obviously. And this goes for $7.79, and I like this very much. Very nice. All right. I'm going to set that just over here, though, because I'm going to be coming back to that in one minute. All right. 
Next item, flip the page, Bobby Garland, crappie baits. Now, it's interesting to find crappie baits in a bass box, although I'm not disappointed because, you know, this is something I would happily take with me out on the ice or on the boat. You know, every now and then you want some eaters, right? You want to catch a few perch, bluegill, crappie, and these things get the job done. So let me get one out. Put this on a contrasting painted jig, jig head. So they recommend that, if, for example, if you have a blue, then you would use some contrasting, maybe a chartreuse or a bright, you know, fluorescent color painted jig head with, you know, with the eyes and everything, round jig head. Uh, uh, you have to pay attention to how you rig it. This is considered the right side up. Hopefully you can tell. Uh, the way this tail is, it's kind of cupped there. Hopefully you can see it. And so you want to rig it with that cupped side up. Okay. And then just jig it. You jig it like you would any crappie bait. This thing would be great on the ice. And if only our weather would cooperate and we could have some genuinely thick ice and not slush. I'm a little bit afraid to go out there. So still, still waiting. But uh, these Bobby Garland, these are, again, uh, highly acclaimed, um, highly regarded. $3.69. All right. And that is, I should point out, that is, I believe, a 10-pack. Yes, 10-pack. All right. Getting to the bottom of the box. A couple more to go, guys. Next item is the Yum Genie. We've seen these many times in the various boxes. I'll get one out. Um, you know, I talked earlier about the, uh, jig, uh, worm jigging. I think this would work well in that instance. Oh, why can't I not open this? There we go. Uh, <laughs> I love you, yum. <laughs> it's forcing me to do this. I, oh, heavens to Betsy. I may leave it in just so you can experience my pain with me. I'm going to get my Ontario Rat 1 going here. See if I can get this thing open. Good heavens, it shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> it's going in the grab bag. <laughs> Is there like a password or something? What the hey? How can I not open this? Well, I'm sorry, guys. I try. <laughs> oh, there's an opening. Here we go. <sighs> oh, my Lord. All right. Wow, are these things oily. I do that with some caution. No smell, though. Interesting looking bait. And again, uh, when I hear this jig worming, or worm jigging, I guess they call it worm jigging, when I hear it described, I think this would be um, this would work using that technique. All right. And I should point out the color on this is, uh, motor, genie motor oil, orange flake, motor oil, orange flake. They certainly are oily. I will say that. And, uh, no, I won't put it in the grab bag like this, although I'm tempted. <laughs> Those... Those Yum Genies go for $2.99, and that is a 8-pack. Last item in the box is the Big Bite Baits, 3.5-inch float and toad. I love these things. And I mentioned earlier, uh, once again, i got to open it. Still fighting. I'm battling for you guys. I'm doing this for you. Oh, my Lord. I I'm filing a complaint. I don't know. I'm going to file a complaint somewhere. Here we go. Good heavens. If I was in a tournament, I would be really frustrated right now. Oh, my goodness. Finally. All right. We... <sighs> All right. What do you think? How's that look? Um... I think that would go well on here. I'd rig that up and give it a go. At least try it, right? Uh, that That's the Big Bite Bait 
um, three and a half inch float and toad. And the color on this is watermelon red. This is going for $3.49. All right, that's it, guys. That's everything in the box. So now let's turn to our value analysis. And I'm going to bring you along with me. I'll clear the way a little bit here. I got a terrible mess going. All right. All right, as you can see, I've uh, listed everything down here, and the total for all of the items in the box is $95.28. That's pretty strong. Uh, the cost of the box, as I previously mentioned, $35. So the added value is $60.28. That is a return on investment of 172.2%. That is stunning. That is remarkable. Uh, I want to caution you, however. This value analysis is very one-dimensional. It's strictly numbers. It does not take into account any subjective variables, and those subjective variables can make or break the difference. So, for example, this box, in my opinion, is an outstanding box containing many uh, very, very tried and proven baits, both new and old school, and I regard them as the kind of baits that each and every one of them would go into my tackle box on my boat and would get used. However, what if some of those baits didn't work in your region? What if you have 20 of them already in your tackle box and you didn't need another one? These are the kind of subjective um, you know, things that, again, are specific to you. There's time of year, region, colors, do you already have them, et cetera, et cetera. So for you, 172% may be meaningless. And so I don't want to overstress this point, but I do want to make sure that people are cautious in using this value, uh, uh, this valuation analysis as merely one tool in your, in your assessment, whether you want to buy a box. It's just one way to measure one against another, but ultimately you have to be the judge. So how do you think they did? Tell me in the comments down below. Let me know. Did Bass Caster surprise you this month? Well, folks, with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. I'm going to invite you over to Instagram. Say hello. Stop by Facebook while you're at it. Like always, drop down and smash that like button if you like what we're doing. And make sure you subscribe. And one last time, I'll remind you about the three-minute the three minute grab bag giveaway every Saturday morning. So make sure you check that out. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and land the plane. And say, until we meet again, take care.